Hey Psych2Goers, welcome back to another video. Your love and support have enabled us to send your way another wealth of everyday psychology, and we wanna thank you for that, so thank you. Now, let's begin. What are some of the things that annoy you as an introvert? We took a poll from our Instagram followers as well. Here's what they find annoying. People complaining about me being an introvert, small talk, people thinking I'm rude when I ask for time to be alone, someone telling me to speak more, then talking over me every time I tried to, and being forced to socialize with people I don't have much in common with. Want us to feature your response in our video? Be sure to follow us on Instagram and keep up to date whenever we post questions on our stories, and you might stand a chance to be featured. The link will be in the description. In a world where extroversion is considered the key to success, it's a real struggle for introverts to find their spot. From early on in school to job hunting, you'll hear the best ways to attend parties and events for networking. Additionally, job restrictions normally require people to be extremely sociable, enjoy the spotlight, and enjoy working in a team. So if you feel like an outsider because of this belief, don't lose heart. There are many others just like you who share the feelings and go through the same struggles. To prove this and hopefully help you feel better knowing that you're not alone, here are six struggles only introverts could relate to. Number one, you appear shy when meeting new people. What's the first impression you make on people? Are you usually described as shy whenever you meet new people? The truth is, when you're quieter than most people, it makes sense that people would see you as a shy person upon first meeting. The struggle occurs when people assume things about you just because you're quieter, such as you not being confident enough or that you're hiding something. And this might be especially bad on job interviews since recruiters usually seek people who are confident in their own skills and mistake your first impression. Number two, you'd rather avoid parties and big social events. Do you ever notice yourself feeling lonelier during parties or social events than when you're by yourself? Is being a wallflower the only way out for you? While this might sound contradictory, this is a common struggle for introverts. Whenever you go to parties or social events, you'll feel like there's a wall separating you from other people because of the amount of small talk. Additionally, the small talk will make you feel extremely bored and like you're wasting your precious time. These are two reasons enough why you would rather avoid going to parties or social events. Number three, you feel underappreciated. Have you ever felt that people ignore you in the room just because you don't talk as much as others? Well, this is one of the most common struggles for introverts. As an introvert, you usually talk less because you don't know what to say or don't have anything to say. As a result, people will not know you well and underestimate your skills and capabilities. So that's why, even when you're fit for the job, someone else gets that promotion because of his or her social skills, while you feel like you got skipped. Number four, you feel that working in a team is burdensome. Do you feel like group meetings are counterproductive for you? Is it easier for you to work alone than coordinate in a group? This is one of the struggles that you can easily relate to as an introvert. You work much more productively in quiet and private environments, since focusing on your task with people talking around you is very hard. Additionally, as opposed to the belief that having others around is better for the inspiration, you're more creative and have innovative ideas when you're alone. And so the fact that companies usually prefer team players over individualists makes this a struggle for you, even if the results and insights you give are better. Number five, you feel extremely uncomfortable when in the spotlight. How comfortable do you feel when being the center of attention? While it's normal to feel extra pressure when being in the spotlight, after all, you are being watched by more people than you normally would. As an introvert, you'll try to avoid speaking in groups or public speaking at all costs because you can't stand people's attention being focused on you. You would much rather have a one-on-one -on -one conversation. And even then, you prefer to talk about things other than yourself. You even feel uncomfortable talking with acquaintances who you know because they'll always ask personal questions, which you feel are none of their business. Number six, you would rather do everything by yourself. Do you get tongue-tied when asking for assistance? Have you ever spent so much time trying to do something that could have been easily solved if you just asked someone to help you? Is it because you dread what they would think of you as a result? As an introvert, one of the traits that you have is that you hate asking for help, and the main reason for this is that you're afraid that you might seem stupid or incapable of doing something. So you end up wasting so much valuable time simply because you prefer to do everything by yourself instead of asking others for help. It is important to be aware that the struggles that you have to go through daily 
are most likely struggles that most introverts experience everywhere else. So please know that you're not alone in dealing with these struggles and start embracing the fact that there are more approaches to life than the extroverted approach. It's not your fault and no one is blaming you for it. Own yourself and let others appreciate you. We hope we were able to give you insight into some of the ways you might struggle with introversion. Do any of these describe your experiences? Leave a comment down below about your encounters if you'd like. Please feel free to share any thoughts you have as well. If you found this video helpful, be sure to hit the like button and share it with those out there battling struggles. Don't forget to subscribe to Psych2Go and hit the notification bell for more new videos. Thanks for watching and we'll see you soon.